Thank you. Yeah. Whoa, it's slippery. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. All right. What? Jeez, Louise. Got it? Good old snow. Oh, no, no, no. Got it. You're good. Thank you. Yep. guys let the chaos begin <laughs> so what's going on everybody welcome back to the each adventure channel my name is Josh and we got something really special for you tonight this is the flying monkey hump day Wednesday night winter edition no babies ride <laughs> Oh, I can't see! My visor fogged up already! Well, first of all, actually, let me, uh, let me apologize if I sound a bit muffled. I'm wearing a baklava to keep my head warm because I'm betting the temperatures at the top of the mountain are going to be probably in the 30s. And so I'm wearing, like, three layers and a baklava and gloves that could fit the Incredible Hulk. And, uh, we're headed up Thomas Mountain. I've been down this route, uh, but never up. It's got some fun challenges and stuff. But it is winter and it has rained recently, so we might hit some snow up here at the top. I've never been all the way to the top, actually, but I've been up this section here. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But uh, Jesse titled this ride No Babies. Classified it as kind of an intermediate level ride just because of... Uh, the nighttime and the potential for snow and this is one of the harder it's not hard but it's one of the more challenging routes that we do um, I don't think I've ever been on this route with them actually I, I've been on this actually with with, uh, with Jesse and Dave but uh, coming down on a different ride but uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I like it That is cold. Open up my visor, let everything air out real quick. I'm like eating the baklava. Well, now that I've started moving and moving around on the bike, I'm actually quite warm. Uh, but the ride home's gonna be, ooh, that's water. The ride home's gonna be not so fun because it's about 75 miles of pavement to get back to my house and 75 miles of pavement when it's only 40 degrees outside kind of sort of sucks a little bit so that's all right we'll be all right we might have to, <laughs> we might have to stop at a few starbucks along the way warm ourselves up a bit so the ground is wet which means it probably rained out here more recently than where i'm at yeah, really starting to warm up now. Feels nice and toasty. My hands are still cold though. Oh well, man, it is dark. So I've been hesitating to go on some of these rides just because A, they're really far. B, it's been really cold. And C, I've just been really busy at work. We're gearing up towards our release that we've been working on all year and uh, it's coming down to the last little bit the last deadline and uh, man I had so much stuff to do I've been working pretty much non-stop since last like last week I haven't really taken a day off I worked on the weekend a little bit too not full days but being busy S super busy I'm hoping that settles down pretty soon so I can get some more riding in. That's pretty cool. Can you see the lights over there? Whoa! Let's not fall. Let's not fall off the mountain. That would be not good. Oh, but yeah, this is cool, man. I needed this really bad. 
prior to today, I haven't really been on the bike in almost a month. The last time I rode it was uh, that trip to Akatia Wells that you guys have seen the videos from. And that was uh, like December 15th. And it's already like January 9th. So it's pretty <laughs> pretty crazy I don't think I've been I don't think I've been that long without a ride in a while like I said even even just riding to work it's been so cold in the mornings around uh, you know around 40 degrees or so in the morning which you know depending on where you live that's not that cold but it's it's pretty cold for California and then you know factor in the wind chill and all that stuff highway speed 70 miles an hour it's it's not fun it's not fun this uh trash can windscreen I got here doesn't quite cut it so I'm super nervous about hitting rocks and stuff now because on one of my recent rides uh, I ended up popping my tire I've never popped my tire ever ever and uh, it's funny because a few weeks prior I had just got done telling Jesse as we were fixing Tristan's tire how I had never gotten a flat and uh, lo and behold, a couple weeks later, I get a flat tire. <laughs> so, ah! Guess I should have knocked on wood. Oh well, it's all good. That repair didn't go well either, though. Water! Oh, you! No! Well, it's a good thing my shoes are waterproof. That was a lot deeper than it looked. <laughs> You know what? It almost feels like I'm out on a ride by myself. There's nobody behind me, and I haven't seen anybody in a while. Crap, did I get lost? Oh no, they're down here. They're down here. I was pretty certain that this, this route only went one way, so. Man, it feels quite nice though. My, my feet are a little chilly. My hands are okay, but for it only being like 40 degrees outside right now, it feels pretty good. Not bad at all, actually. Darkness! No parents! <laughs> any, of you guys, any of you guys have seen a uh, Lego movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's funny, uh, that movie is actually really awesome. The, the original Lego movie. So my kids had it, and I hadn't seen it. But we had TVs, you know, in the back of the car for the kids. And uh, they had it on in the back of the car probably for like a month straight. And uh, I hadn't seen it, but I could recite the whole movie word for word. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Woo! Hey now. Getting a little sketchy sketch. It's wet and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be snow at the top. Cause it's so wet down at the bottom. I don't know guys. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. What I, am, whoa, what I am hoping though is that we make it to the top before the battery dies. Because, A, changing the battery on the Sony camera, getting it out of the case, is a real pain. And so if I don't have to do that, then B, you get to see us enjoy some hot cocoa. That's been, uh, that's been a thing, I guess, now on these flying monkey rides ever since it's been getting cold. There has been flowing hot chocolate for the last few weeks. And I am very bummed out that I have missed said hot chocolate. It almost looked like a head. Not like a head, but like a head on a body. Like a like a man standing there, like a I don't know. Loch Ness monster. I, I don't know guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is gonna be one of those videos. I think, me thinks, Misa think. Uh. Oh, it's Sandy right here. I do remember that from coming down. 
looks like tacky sand but I'm running dual sport pressures right now just so I don't have to end up with a flat tire because that would suck no babies no 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 babies no no babies no 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 babies where is everybody I don't feel like I'm riding that slow but I haven't caught up to anybody there's no one behind me Woo should have worn an extra pair of socks though because my feet are Oh, okay. Let's just take it easy here. Dang. That was scary. All right. I was saying that my feet are starting to get cold. It's cold. It's cold out here. Whoa. It's cold in these dim here hills. Dim there. Dim there. And these there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I honestly didn't think there was this many bikes that would be out here today. You guys probably saw it already. I saw an F800 GS, a couple KLR 650s, a KTM 690, uh, I think a 500 EXC. Uh, what else did I see? I thought I saw something else too. I don't know. That might be it. There's more people than I thought though. But that is cool. One thing that's kind of neat about having this windscreen is you can tell by how it's bouncing around how difficult the terrain is. Because this Sony camera does a really good job of smoothing everything out. And a lot of times you can't really tell like what the terrain looks like. And uh, one thing I've noticed after watching some of that Akatia Wells footage with this, this uh, thing on, you can definitely tell how much the bike's moving around versus how much the camera actually shows. Where is everyone? Woo! There they are! You have, to, you have to know it's coming. Exactly, yeah. that's the thing. You gotta have, you yeah. gotta have your eyes out ahead of you. It's that surprise hole.